And I think that it's not a, a uh, coincidence that as the state has grown larger and larger and larger, the culture war has grown with it because it the, state, the state is a war. It's a war over power. And there's so many, it's really unbelievable how much like, you know, if, if two people are out and one's got like a, you know, Hillary Clinton 2016 and the other one's got like a, a Make America Great Again hat. Right, they right, like right. hate each other. Yeah. But those same two people, if you took that hat off, would just, you know, pass each other at the supermarket and be like, excuse me. Oh, no, you're fine. Go ahead. You know, and just like, like go about peacefully coexist. You see this, you know, it's like if there's a, a church, you know, up the road, like there's a, a Catholic church up the road from me. Right, and right. no one, you know, it's like, well, Catholics go there and that's what they yeah. like. Now, if there were, if the government came in and said, we're building a building here and it's going to be a Catholic church, of course, everybody who's a, a Protestant or a Jew or a Muslim would be like, well, yeah. that's outrageous. Why the hell yeah. should I be forced to pay for this Catholic church? And so everyone has to fight over it. But when it's done in the market, we largely just go, okay, well, that's what they're doing. If you don't want to go there, don't go there and go over there. And everyone's I remember, fine. I, I remember there were a lot of people that were upset about, uh, or, or they were, I guess upset's the best word, that there was, and I forget where it was, uh, maybe it was Seattle or something like that. But there was like this, uh, they were going to try to make a restaurant as like a worker's co-op where, where no one made more than anyone else. And I believe uh, I believe that it ended up not not working for, for a myriad of reasons. And there were people that were like, can you believe they're doing this? I'm like, good, let them try. Like, I, I don't care. Now, if they try to impose that as this is how all businesses have to be run, now we have no problem. The more government gets involved in our day-to-day -day lives, the more the state is centrally planning every aspect of our lives, now people that you disagree with on things become your adversary. And that's intentional, Dave. We all disagree on things. None of us agree 100%. So necessarily, when you make it so that now your opinion is weaponized via your vote for proxy violence against others, it's not just I want to live this way, but I want to vote that the way I want to live should be the way everyone else has to live. Now you have a war. Now you have an actual battle happening. And because we can't all agree 100% on everything, it now has us constantly fighting against each other. And that was the intention because the state the people in charge, the Republicrats, absolutely want us constantly fighting over everything so we don't take a step back and realize that it doesn't matter what we're fighting over. It doesn't matter who we vote for, whether it's Republican or Democrat. They're just going to come in and do whatever they want anyway. You know what they usually do? You got, let's say you have the left and you have the right. And the left says, I want to force people on the right to do X. And people on the right go, I want to force people on the, on the left to do Y. And in a stunning show of bipartisanship, the Democrats and Republicans say, okay, we'll force everyone to do X and Y. And that's how this works. That's how the state grows. It grows with us fighting at each other, fighting and, and constantly finding every possible reason to fight instead of stepping back and realizing we're all on the same side by default by the fact that we're all being victimized by this state and by the Republicans and their cronies.